welcome to YouTube Tuesday with me, Jessica Brigden of Jess B Creative Cardiology. And I'm playing around with my features here because I'm trying to get back to my screen. There we go. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Did you see the eclipse yesterday? We got all excited. We had our eclipse glasses, the whole works. We went down to a local park down to the lake so that we could have an unobstructed view. And while it was beautiful, it was so cloudy, we couldn't tell where the sun was supposed to be. So we didn't end up really seeing anything. But we did experience when the temperature dropped, uh, when the eclipse actually happened and everything got real dark. And of course the, the lights on you know buildings around um, came on. Um, so that was, that was neat. So we did experience the eclipse even though we didn't get to see it. But um, yeah, so I hope you had a fun experience with that. So today is our YouTube Tuesday. We are doing our Fun Fold Card Workshop of the Month. And if you placed an order of $50 or more with me during the month of March, then you received the kit to follow along with this video and make the projects. Um, of course, I invite all of you to follow along, but you will need to uh, provide your, <laughs> your own paper and things like that. But we are going to be doing a unique card, a unique, a unique technique. Um, I don't know that I've quite seen this exact card done anywhere, so hey, maybe I invented something new. But I'm calling it the center flap gatefold card. So center flap gatefold card. I guess that's very literal. As you can <laughs> imagine, the card has a center flap. <laughs> But it's a gatefold card too. So, anyway, so this is kind of a mixture of, of fun folds and techniques um, into today's workshop card. And we're going to be using Stampin' Up's Flowering Zinnia collection here. It's beautiful, sweet. I love it. It's an online, excuse me, online exclusive. So you won't see it in the catalog, but you will find it in the online store. The beautiful stamp set dies. This gorgeous. Flowering Zinnias, bold, bright designer series paper that I have been playing with here over the past few weeks. And um, yeah, I'm excited to share today's card with you. All right, checking through your comments here. Oh, so you didn't get any glasses, Luann, because it was predicted to be cloudy skies. Oh, and then you ended up with bright, clear skies all day. Aw. <laughs> today, so that happened today. As you can kind of see, it's, it's super bright outside. Um, so we went, it was supposedly 60 degrees yesterday. I don't, I think maybe in the morning it was quite warm, but when that eclipse happened, um, and of course we had like rain coming in, so it was really, it felt chilly. You know, I would have said maybe 40. Um, and then today, <laughs> opposite extreme, clear, bright blue skies. The sun was shining at 6.30 this morning. Um, it is gorgeous, and it's 75 degrees today. Like, we went from winter and snow here just a couple days ago to full-on summertime. <laughs> We're just skipping all over spring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice, Margaret. You're out for a walk in shorts because it's so beautiful. Yeah, same here. Absolutely. Hi, Carol. Hello, hello. Hi, Terry. Hi, Nessa. <laughs> all right, let's get started here. And I do a little fun crafting today. All right, so today, the other thing that's special about today, the last chance sale uh, began at Stampin' Up! So the sale prices went into effect today. Um, and in fact, um, the dies that we're gonna use for some of the video, um, I'm gonna use my Scallop Contours dies, the littlest one. These are on sale 30% off for $24.50 and I use these all the time. This is probably one of the die sets, one of the die sets, maybe maybe the most used die set if I kind of look through here that I'm gonna miss here uh, from the retiring. Yeah, out of all of the ones that are retiring, um, I think I am going to miss, I love the artistic half price. Those are gorgeous for $17.50. Um, but yeah, as far as versatility, I use the scalloped contours dies all the time. Uh, the stamp set that coordinates with it is already sold out, so you can't get that, but the dies are 30% off, um, and that started today. 
Okay, um, just another shout out, some embossing folders. Um, pretty much the majority of the embossing folders that went on sale are all half price um, for around four, five, six dollars. So be sure to check out the online sale and for best selection, shop early here. My April host code is CRQH2QWY um, and that will associate you, your order, uh, with me as your demonstrator and of course new catalogs are coming in actually my box of new catalogs just arrived today as well as my um, labels from Vistaprint um, so I will be getting those ready and labeled and of course some of my pre-order goodies came in so if you place an order of $50 or more with me you will of course get all my tutorials for the month um, you'll get my Fun Fold Workshop of the Month card, so that'll be different for May. Um, it's going to feature new product. Here, I'll give you a little sneak peek. This is going to be May's Fun Fold Workshop of the Month. Just a little teaser there. Um, but I'm also going to send you your catalog and a sampler of in-color goodies, okay? Um, but that that is on orders placed today, April 9th through, what did I say, the 9th through the 19th, um, because after that, David and I are packing up, we are heading to Mexico um, a few days early in advance of the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. And so I wanna make sure that I get all of my catalogs sent out and everything shipped and ready to go um, before we head out. Okay, oh good, so Luann, oh, you got up early. Well, you are, are you on mountain time, so? <laughs> So, yeah, so for the, us, those of us here on the East Coast, the sale started at 2 a.m. Um, Eastern time. Um, so I don't know too many people here that got up that early, but <laughs> I think a few people got their orders in at like 6.30 or 7, you know. <laughs> All right, so hello, Polly. Hello, hello. So this is the flowering zinnia that we're working with and our fun fold center flap gate fold card. So I have all of the pieces here. And the nice thing with this is it starts with just a standard half sheet of cardstock. And I am using the Lemon Lime Twist for this. So fun, bright colors. So this is four and a quarter by 11. And then if you bring out your trimmer or your handy dandy scoreboard, okay, then you are going to Score this in two places. This is where the gatefold part comes in, okay? So we're gonna score it at two and three quarters. And then we're gonna score, again, two and three quarters from the other end, which makes it eight and a quarter. So super simple. Oh, you're on central time, Luann, okay. <laughs> Hi, Karen, hello, hello. Hope you're having a great lunch break. All right, so to create the, the base of the card, the framework of our gatefold, we had our four and a quarter by 11, and we've scored it here at two and three quarter and eight and a quarter. So that means when you fold your flaps in, they should meet in the middle, okay? Um, and then that is your standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. All right, so that's all you need for the moment. Okay, so we're going to build this um, two parts here. So. Of course, for the inside, I do have my four by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white. Uh, but now, now we're gonna do the flap. So like I said, this is a center flap gatefold card. So we have the gatefold, now we need the center flap. And we're gonna create that before we glue this down because there's a little trick that you need. So what I've done is taken a second piece of the lemon lime twist. And this piece is two and three quarter. And I did it by four and a quarter. So two and three quarter by four and a quarter. And then I scored just this last, just a three quarter inch flap, okay? So you could do it on the left and measure it three quarter. Or if you have it going the other direction, you would score it at three and a half, okay? But out of this two and three quarter by four and a quarter piece, you want a 0.75, a three quarter inch flap at the top, okay? All right, and then that's all you need your scoring for. Okay, so that is good to go. 
All right, so what I am going to suggest, and let me see if I've got some candy, yes, is your tear and tape. Because this is an interactive fun fold card, we wanna make sure that this flap is secure. So in that three quarter inch section there at the top, you want to make sure you put, put a little piece of tear and tape right across that section. Okay, it doesn't really matter whereabouts, just right on that section uh, because that really is part of our strongest adhesive um, and you don't want this coming undone as you're, as you're making your card, okay? So we're gonna take the backing off of that. All right, so we've already we got our little flap here. Now we're gonna come up to the middle. The card is open. Okay, open your open the gates <laughs> and find the approximate center here. And you're going to line that sticky flap in the middle here, right up along the top edge. Okay, so just go right along that edge. And I think I did pretty good with finding the middle. Okay. Now, now we want to hide that little flap. So now you can insert your basic white, your four by five and a quarter piece liner here. Okay. But the reason we waited is so that you could kind of disguise that flap. Um, now, if you miss that step, of course you could adhere the flap to the back side of the card. But again, this way helps hide it. Okay, and that way you really don't see the seams there. And it's it's nice and seamless along the back. So this is where we're getting our center, center flap, or center flap <laughs> gatefold card. All right, so now this is the fun part. All right, so it's kind of cool, different elements. I really like the fact that it just takes a, a standard half sheet of cardstock um, and then a little bit of extra here for for your flap, okay? And we're using the flowering zinnia paper here. So we need some, some paper for that. So I've chosen these little ditzy zinnia, zinnia print here, the tiny little zinnias, super cute. The backside has, can you tell? So they're not just polka dots, they're actually little zinnias little flowers, um, little flower polka dots there on the pink side. So you could use either side, all right? They would both be, either would work for this, both be really cute. Um, I'm gonna go bold and bright. So I'm gonna use the, the bright pattern. And these are going to go on our outside flaps, the flaps of the gate. And so these are gonna be two and a half by four. All right, so this is a great project um, to maximize your designer series papers, your pretty papers. So you can um, make your zinnia paper go a long ways. Okay, so um, you could add an extra layer if you wanted a layer of contrasting cardstock, but I kept things simple. So just two and a half by four inches here for, for the gates, okay? All right, so put them on there. So that, that looks pretty cool. All right, so this is what it's gonna start to look like there. And now we get to decorate the center flap. And because we're using the zinnias here, we have that whole zinnia theme, I wanted to pull in the zinnia 3D embossing folder. This is one of those 3D um, texture folders. So you get a pretty deep impression and actually the folder, we have our um, Stampin' Up! logo here at the bottom, but the zinnias actually grow this way, okay? So you wanna, uh, when you're putting your paper in, just be aware that if you start from the bottom, uh, your zinnias are gonna be sideways. So <laughs> you're still gonna insert the folder when you insert this into your um, cotton emboss machine. Of course, you use your, um, grab this here. So if you're doing the cut emboss machine, you're going to use your base. Number one, um, no, no tabs. All right. No clear plates here. Just base number one, your embossing folder. Um, in this case, I'm going to use 
a piece of basic white and this is going to be this one is two and a half by three and a quarter two and a half by three and a quarter here okay and so when you insert this this is going to go on our flap all right so i did i already embossed this piece but i wanted you to make sure that your zinnias grow in the right direction but you would insert this in here okay grab the portion of the zinnias that that you want to emboss and then place it on your platform all right with the fold going in and then you would use gray plate number four okay so this this all comes with your stamped and cotton emboss machine all right so just your base your 3D folder with your paper, and then gray plate number four. And that will run it through and give you that nice, deep impression. I don't know if you can I'll put that up there. Can you see how deep that is? Gorgeous embossing on that. Okay, so like I said, I love the whole collection here. The paper, the stamps, the dies, and the embossing folder. And we're going to adhere this to our flap. Okay. All right, so we have carried the zinnia theme all throughout here. All right, now we need to, we need, we need a zinnia. We need something fun, all right? And so with this designer series paper, you actually get, get a whole sheet of, they're 12 by 12 of uh, these beautiful zinnias. Um, now the dies do not actually cut out the patterned paper, they cut out the stamped images. Um, so it's up to you. You can see I've been, I've been cutting apart this piece. Um, and so you can pick the flower, whatever flower that you want for the center of your card here. All right, I'm going to um, spare you the fussy cutting today because I actually do have one pre-cut. All right, I think that one came from, well, something like that. Um, but again, every card you make will be a little bit different because you've got all kinds of different zinnia patterns here. And we can put this on in different places. And for the sentiment label, I used the, the tiniest of the scalloped contours. This is the smallest label and it gives you that nice um, little kind of like embossed center panel to stamp your sentiment. And then you've got the stitching, the little, um, little polka dots all the way around. Um, I love these dies. Like I said, um, they were meant to coordinate with the scalloped contours set. There's um, two flowers that coordinate with that. But the primary way that I have used these dies is for all the various um, sizes of the scalloped rectangles. Um, the largest here um, is perfectly sized for, would be a full, a full card front. Okay, and then you've got all of your others, um, including a little stitched scalloped edge too. So great dies. Again, those are on sale uh, starting today while supplies last um, for the, the last chance sale. So I use that smallest, smallest scalloped rectangle here, and we need a sentiment. Um, so because I'm using the smaller one, I'm gonna use the thanks so much here a nice uh, mixture of fonts all right and we'll grab a grab a block and let's since my flower is the melon mambo we'll use that for our sentiment here and um, depending on the different flowers that you use you could go with some uh, blackberry bliss you could go with some flirty flamingo or <laughs> or Highland Heather. You could go any any color really. All right, so that is nice and inked up well, aiming for the center here. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna play around with this and decide where you want to put this. So you could put this, kind of center it on here and have your flower above it. Uh, this flower, we could kind of angle it a little bit, maybe come in 
off the side, in which case our label would extend beyond the flap. So if that's the case, if your label extends beyond the flap, um, then make sure you don't put adhesive on that section or you'll just glue your card shut. All right, which kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> All right, so in this case, um, I'm going to make sure I put my dimensionals. I'm gonna keep them a little bit closer together here. All right, and then this portion will extend beyond. All right, so, oh, there's my garbage, okay. All right, so let's, let's do that. So not right at the bottom, let's move it up a little bit here. And then we'll put some dimensionals on our zinnia. And again, if any portion of your flower um, extends beyond the flap here, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't put adhesive right at the tail end of that. So let's just put a couple right there on the zinnia itself. Okay. And let's do that. Let's kind of curve it around. Yeah, I think I kind of like it coming off the, the side a little bit there. Okay. And um, you could dress it up if you wanted to, if you wanted to include um, some sequins or, or anything. Let's see, I've got some of the adhesive back shiny sequins, and these are supposed to be back in stock soon, but you really could use any, any sequins or embellishments um, that, that we've got. Maybe let's do, mm, do we wanna go lemon lime, lemon lime twist? Let's do that since, um, and maybe we'll put the largest one, let's put it out right up here, and then we'll use the smaller ones do one down here by the leaves and then one up top by this leaf. So we've got just a little trio, a little extra bling on there for to fancy it up. But there we have it. We have our center flap gatefold card. And then we could stamp, we could stamp some gorgeous zinnias even on the inside. Let's do that. Should we do, ooh, yeah, let's do the full size zinnia on the inside in which case we will need the e block here one of the bigger blocks and uh, let's go ahead we'll do i'm going to use the melon mambo i have i have some lemon lime twist ink here but we'll just do melon mambo and have a nice pop of color when when the recipient opens the envelope opens the card here and then we've got that pretty flowers popping out from inside. Okay. It's a big stamp, so just make sure that ink transfers. Look at how beautiful that is. Gorgeous stamped image, so much detail in that. And there you go, there you have it. What do you guys think of my unique center flap, <laughs> fun fold, gatefold card here? <laughs> If anybody has a better name for it, let me know. But um, like I said, I hadn't quite seen anything that included both the center flap and the gatefold together. So we went ahead and did that. But I hope you enjoyed uh, this little technique card here. I hope you'll give it a try. Um, I could see you could use any designer series paper, um, would work with a variety of, of stamps and things for, um, for that center flap. But um, just a unique card. I hope you'll give it a try. Uh, nice and, and pretty easy. Again, just a half sheet of cardstock and then um, a two and three quarter by four and a quarter piece for the flap. And that is all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Again, make sure you, um, if you're shopping the last chance sale, and don't forget to add the scalloped contours dies to your order, as well as the gorgeous Simply Zinnia Designer Series paper in the bundle there as well. And again, new catalogs have arrived. They are, they are in the house. <laughs> um, so as soon as you place your order, uh, your April order with me, if it's $50 or more, um, then you'll also get not only your catalog, um, my in-color sampler pack, plus my workshop card, my fun fold card of the month there, uh, which will give you a little sneak peek. 
and um, all of that good stuff. So happy stamping, and I hope you uh, grab some, snag some great deals in the online store too. All right, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with your friends, all of that wonderful stuff. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine where you, wherever you are. And, um, oh, you haven't received your catalog yet, Karen. Yes, they were sent to demonstrators. Um, I believe they shipped right after on stage. Um, so they were shipped mid-March. Um, most of my team in New York and various places have received theirs. There's a few who have not. Um, so give it another another week or so and then give Stampin' Up! a call. Um, but as for customers, those... Um, all of my customers, I am per personally sending the catalogs to them. I'm not using Stampin' Up's mailing selector for that. I like to have a tracking number so that I can make sure uh, you receive your catalog. <laughs> um, and so, like I said, those will be shipping out here um, within the next 10 days uh, before, Sam before David and I head to Mexico. So, uh, the sooner you order, then the sooner you get your catalog. <laughs> all right. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Karen, yep. Give Stampin' Up! a call then because um, your catalog should definitely be on its way from Stampin' Up! So, uh -huh. all right. Happy stamping. Thank you, everyone. And we'll see you on Friday. All righty. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hello, hello. Be sure to go back and watch the replay, okay? Because I'm just about to sign off. But um, I think you're going to love our center flap gatefold card there. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.